Hi, I'm Martin. I'm the designer of the festival bed and I'm going to show you how to put it together. As it was designed to fit in the trunk of a car for camping purposes, I am going to start by taking it out of the trunk of the car. As you can see, the car is dirty because we just went camping. I use this bed um, if we go camping for about four days or more. Alright, so you're going to start with, this is the center leg. There's two of them. We're going to start by just linking them together. There's these uh, features here, and they just snap together. There's similar features in the middle. You just push them together like that. And then we can put this here for now. You grab the two of the side legs. There's eight side legs. And similarly, you just link them together like so. And then you can hold it just like that. And then this is the center of the bed. So if you can put it approximately where the bed's going to be, that part will be freestanding. Continue by taking pieces of legs and locking them in the same way. These don't necessarily stay locked in at this point. It can slip out, so this one's pretty easy. But depending on how much you've used your bed or uh, just a little bit of manufacturing tolerance, sometimes they kind of slip together. That's not a problem. It's designed to be, you know, tight but loose enough that it will slip together easy. So this one goes in the notch on the end. We do the same thing on the other side. get into the middle like so and then same thing here push them together put it right on the side now this is the frame of this is the basic skeleton of the bed the next step is the lower shelves this is what the lower shelf looks like this part's a little tricky. It requires a little bit of flexing. This is probably the trickiest part of the assembly process. And you have to make sure that you line it up properly. So on this side we have a leg that's close to this, well, I guess a beam on the shelf is close to the leg, and on this side it's far. Now that's important for later on. Also you notice this tab is on the outside, close to this edge, and this tab is on the inside with a little cutout for this tab on the other one. So we can see that this is going to line up here and that one's going to line them on that side. Similarly we have to make sure that we put these on the right notches on the spine I would call it. So you just slide that in, put this one down and this one down and that'll stay there and then just push these down Make sure these are pushed together nice. This one came apart a little bit, so just push it back together, and then that locks it all together. And then you're going to continue that with all four of them. Alright, so now we have that part done. Now onto the other side. This one we have to make sure that we get it the right way so that it all fits together nice. This does require a little bit of flexing of these legs out. It's fine. They can handle it. You just pop it in. Pop it in here. This whole design doesn't use any fasteners besides the pieces themselves. So 
That's why all these pieces interlock the way a puzzle would. Now this last one's the trickiest because all the other pieces are holding them all in place, all the legs in place. So you've got to kind of come in at an angle. Also, it's easy to do it backwards. So you got to come in at an angle. And just kind of gently slide it into place. Now what you just saw a minute ago, where I had to turn this piece around and didn't realize it at first, is one of the features of this bed. It cannot be assembled the wrong way. All these pieces are all the same. Well, you know, all of the shelves are all identical. All of the outer legs are all identical. The two inner legs are identical. But they cannot be assembled incorrectly. Next we have the spars. These are the top spars to hold the top platform and make a nice stiff surface for sleeping on. This is one of the advantages of this bed that makes it really supportive and really easy, well not easy but comfortable. But this is one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept on and I'm not just saying that. A lot of beds aren't really stiff enough, they're not very supportive, so one of the design features of this bed is to be a very supportive, flat surface, like a high quality platform bed. These just pop in place, like that. These are the same design, they just pop together. And one of the things is all of the pieces lock together, so that that's part of what makes it really stiff. So now we have all of the ribs and the lower shelves and all the legs. Now for the top platform. The easiest way to do the top platform is to look at the outermost notch and line it up with the outermost notch on the inside leg and then just lay it down. That will line up this notch here and just push it in. So all of these notches, these are lined up. Don't worry if these aren't all filled, they're not going to be on all of these pieces. And leave this part out for now. Now we take this piece and just gently push it together. Sometimes if it's a new bed it'll be a little tight and you'll have to kind of wiggle it in a little bit like that. Once it's in you just push it down and then just go all the way down the line. Make sure they're all pushed in and then push that one in. So now that's locked in. We do the same thing on the other side. This one's a little bit different. You have to make sure that this inside matches. So we have to flip this one over. This is also the heaviest piece at 6.2 pounds. The whole bed weighs about 75 pounds. And then the last piece right here. Once again just slip it in, push it down, and you're done. Fully assembled festival bed.